Good evening and welcome to the sixth round of Chorus Chess. I am Bianca Mure and I will report to you on today's happenings in Wijkanzee. The day started slow with four draws. Ivanchuk decided to take another rest day and agreed to a draw with White against Nakamura after only half an hour. Oddly enough, I had prepared this variation and looked at everything except a5. I had looked at about four other lines, and then I overlooked this a5 line, and actually after a5, I more or less have to force the draw, I think, because otherwise I'm significantly worse. So, I mean, if I had the choice between playing a worse position with black against Ivanchuk or taking a draw, obviously I'm going to take a draw in that situation. Quite rightly so. Anant and Carlsen lasted a while longer, but after 19 moves in a dragon, Vichy had to admit his opening failed to produce an advantage and settle for a draw. You just played a draw against uh, Magnus with uh, White. You didn't want to try? <laughs> well, I wanted to try. Uh, it's just, um, I mean, he surprised me with his opening. Uh, I'd been checking lots of other stuff, but exactly this dragon I didn't expect from him. And my problem is, um, if I don't force the draw uh, where I did on the 19th move, then it takes very little for me to be worse. I mean, either his e-pawn comes to e5, and uh, if I don't force the draw, I'm just worse, because my bishop is really bad now. It's only good if I can keep his pawn on e7, so um, I just, um, I must have missed something in the opening. And how about uh, the tournament? Are you surprised how uh, Alexa Shirov is doing? Uh... I mean, I know he's unpredictable, but uh, this this is <laughs> this is a spectacular result. I mean, uh, five out of five, I think anyone would kill for. So uh, it's, it's difficult to give an opinion on this. It's just one of those things that happens. Uh, I mean, on a good day, you know he can play a good game, but uh, uh, five out of five is a spectacular score. Jan Smeets finally had a lucky round. Sergei Karyakin failed to find the winning 18-A4, after which the Dutchman held the remainder easily. Leader Alexei Shirov made his first draw in the tournament. Opponent Nigel Short claimed to have no problems whatsoever. Well, it was uh, pretty easy, actually. <laughs> I equalized very quickly and uh, I was never in the slightest danger at all. Kramnik jokingly congratulated the Englishman with his great accomplishment. What did uh, Vladimir Kramnik tell you after the game? Well, he said congratulations. <laughs> Because you'll have lots yeah. of fun. <laughs> I said, yeah, it's the greatest triumph of my career. <laughs> Lainir Dominguez was the first one to win, with Sergei Tivyakov being his victim. The Cuban was very happy with the result, as this was his first game ever in which he played d4 on the first move. For Peter Leko, this was an excellent day too, as he came back to 50%, scoring his first victory. The Hungarian survived Fabiano Caruana's deep opening preparation and was never in trouble. Vladimir Kramnik joined second place by scoring his second win in a row, this time against Dutchman Luc van Weli. Alexei Shirov is still in the lead with 5.5 points from 6 games, followed by 4 players with 4 points. In the B-group, Anish Giri continued his impressive series of wins by defeating Tommy Niebeck and is now one point ahead of the rest of the field. In the C group, Ray Robson managed to win yet another game and is now still in the lead with 5.5 points out of 6 games, closely followed by Li Chao with 5 points. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again tomorrow.